Monica here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, what are we going to do? We are going to learn how we can auto assign a permission set to all the users that are going to be created in the upcoming future in our org. Okay. So uh, if you want to assign a permission set to the user, what we'll do, we will edit the user, then we will add the permission set to it. But that is a lot of work if you have lots of users to add. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll ask automation to do it. Okay. So we will create a flow. In that flow, we will add a condition whenever a new user is created we will ask the flow to just assign that permission set for us to the user okay so that is today's example uh let's dive straight into it but before that if you're new here if you're first timers here click on the subscribe button below will be awesome and then we will go straight into the video okay so let's set the example for that let's go to setup first and we will create a new record triggered flow so let's go to flows and click on new flow okay so let's select the record triggered flow because we want to run this flow whenever a user is created a new user is created okay so record triggered flow and create uh, object will be user whenever a record is created and for condition we just need one condition which is the user should be active okay so we want to uh, add the permission set to only the users who are actually active so this condition is mandatory is active is true and that is it done let's select free form first okay so now what we want to do first of all let's select the permission set which we want to assign to all the new users okay so let's go to permission sets I'm just gonna choose a random permission set uh, let's say CRM user so let's click on that and copy its API name okay because we need that in the flow builder okay so now what we'll do is in our flow uh, we'll take a get record element and we will get the permission set okay so the permission set we want to assign to the new users we first have to get that uh, getting the permission set okay so for permission set we have an standard object in Salesforce itself which is permission set this one okay and for condition we will add where name equals to and here we will paste the API name for the permission set that we have copied just now okay uh, only the first record automatically store all the fields and done so now what we have done is whenever a new user is created uh, we have got the permission set with the permission set api name okay so now here we have the permission set now what we'll do is just to be confirmed just to be sure we will just take a decision element to check if this get record element if this permission set has id or not so let's write checking the permission set okay checking if it exists and here what we'll do is permission set basically a get record element dot id which is this is null false so if the permission set id is null equals to false that means the permission set has a id okay uh, and click on done let's connect it there's a very simple but a very useful example now what we want to do now uh, if we have the permission set and if a user is created we want to create a permission set assignment for that user basically we want to uh, assign the permission set to the user so for that we will take a create record element mm. let's say assigning permission set to user okay one and use separate resources and literal values so for permission set assignment we have one more standard object from salesforce which is permission set assignment this one okay and in this object we have two mandatory fields which is assignee id first is assignee id so what is assignee id basically assignee id will be the user id of to which we are assigning the permission set okay so in our case the user will be 
record.id okay so here's the user id and the second mandatory field is permission set id okay and in permission set id what we'll write is permission set our get record element dot id that is why we just uh, reconfirmed it with the decision element that the permission set the get record element has id okay so that is it these are the two fields we have to add and done and let's add it check if it exists right and that is it your flow is done now whenever a user will be created it will get the permission set this one this permission set it will get after that it will just check if this permission set exists or not if the permission set exists it will assign the permission set to this user automatically okay so you don't have to assign permission set to user separately from now on uh, if any user is created this permission set will be assigned to the user automatically okay let's just save it and try our example mm. Assigning permission set to user, okay, and activate it. Now, how we can check it? Let's go to users and create a new user. Uh, let's close this page because we will need to see that page again. Maybe mm -hmm. let's go to users. And new user. Mm. Permission set user, let's say. Okay. And email ID. Let's write my email ID. Um, user license will be Salesforce platform user. And let's click on save. I think username. Yeah. Okay. So let's write new here and save it so our new user is created now let's see if the permission set is assigned to the user automatically or not okay so there was some error due to that permission set uh, i think there's some more functionality uh, for this permission set so what i have done is I have added another permission set here which is sales user um, this one okay so oh sorry not this one one second mm, this one sales cloud user so I have copied this API and pasted it here and now let's just save it and activate and let's try and create a user again I hope this should work fine now. Let's create a new user. Mm. Example flow. Oops, sorry. Email ID eflow at the rate gmail.com. Okay. And let's just save it. So the user is created. Now what we are going to do is we are going to check if the permission set is assigned to the user or not. Okay. So let's just go down a little bit. And here's a permission set assignment section in the related tab. And here you can see a sales cloud permission set uh, is already assigned to this user. So that was the example how you can uh, assign a permission set to the user automatically when a user is created. So we have just created a user and through our flow, this permission set is assigned to the user. Okay. So that was the example. That was it for today. I hope you like this example. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you super soon in my next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care and keep learning.